Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. This is a next 24 hours tarot reading session for you Leo. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good Leo. This reading for today, this is for you. Let us see what is the message for you. What is meant for you to know, ready for you to know. This is for the Leo sign. This is for the Leo friends out there, okay? Before I start, Leo, I would like to thank you guys for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. Let us see what is the message for the Leo sign. This is next 24 hours reading. What can I get for Leo, please? Before I start, Leo, I would like to thank you guys for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your support. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. And if you would like to further connect with me, Leo, I invite you to also be part of our mailing list. To do that, the link is down in the description box below. Let us see what's coming towards you, okay? This is your next 24 hours reading. What is the intuitive message that it's meant for you to know, ready for you to know? This is for the Leo sign, okay? All right, your overall energy is the Six of Swords. Um, you're moving. Um, I feel like, Leo, you are moving to somewhere out there. Five of Swords, clever plan. Eight of Swords. I feel like you're... I feel like you are moving on or moving physically and it's gonna be a different like it's it's moving to something unknown it's moving to something that you haven't explored but you're moving five of swords you're looking back as you move forward there's a part of you that's still connected to someone or something in the past but you know that you need to move or you're being drawn to be stepping out of your comfort zone or something to do with um, you don't know what's going on there but you need to explore it because the universe is not wanting you to be stuck in a place in a situation where you you are overboard or you have outgrown there's something in here that you have outgrown the situation or a person and you're being taken to something unknown and you're you're kind of will explore and will have fun it's a cl clever but you don't have an agenda it's like going to a place where you don't have an agenda yet and you're gonna get there you're gonna create the agenda once you are there so a lot of things to explore and it's it it really feels like it's fun whatever this is you're you're experimenting you're doing something exciting unknown and you're up to discover and grab every opportunity that you would get in there so you're collecting collecting memories collecting fun collecting details it's it's fun exciting it's unknown yeah so that's that okay let's pick up more intuitive message for you you've got the death card so coming in the recent past is the death card this is a closure this is saying goodbye to a cycle this is a closure of something you know death card the three of cups the four of swords um i feel like you're really ready leo there was something in the past that made you happy that made you feel you belong you you did belong four of swords you're closing a chapter of your life you're saying goodbye to something to someone to a place to a location to a person for some of you for some of you it's it's kind of goodbye but see you soon so it's 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 one chapter completed let's put it that way leo yeah ace of cups you know you want to fall in love again to yourself to the world to a new place to a new location to a new destination to a new hobby there's something with your reading that you're about newness well we you've got a new moon in total so there's a lot of there's a lot of energy to being new is what you're aim you're you're aiming for something new someone new now the death card the three of cups ace of pentacles i'm not reading reversals whoever because the four of swords um if you are 
if if you were connected to someone romantically you're you're starting all over with something this person's also starting all over with something so you are with whatever you need to go and this person also is needing to have a new cycle so there is a falling apart so maybe one day you could go like i'm really i'm really getting like you're going this way like you this way this you're going this way this person is going this way you know and then who knows in the end you'll still meet up you know and heart <laughs> so there's something in here that you're kind of separated for something this is a very important person this is a very important situation but you have to be separated or disconnected for some reason to grow to have a room for improvement because i'm really picking up this ace of cups ace of pentacles this is separate you are meant to kind of separate it to grow and not to pain or you know but it's it's to grow it's to grow okay um yeah nine of pentacles so I feel like you're gonna stand by to your decision. They're gonna stand by to their decision. It's you're going towards an individual goal. You know, maybe it's a friend, it's a lover, maybe it's a different company, but you have a different world now. You're going to a different cycle, they're going to a different cycle. You are you're wanting new love. This person is more of career, but you guys are available. You you guys are for each other, but your goal is different. You know, you're building your name in here or something. They're also building something of a reputation. So same good vibe of prioritizing what you need to do, what they need to do, okay? But still, I feel like energetically, you're still connected with each other. So um, what's coming towards is the Nine of Cups. So I feel like you will enjoy. If you choose to move, if you choose to do something, a new hobby, a new thing, you will enjoy it. You will enjoy the first part of the experimentation, the first part of, I don't know, getting to know, dating, whatever you're going to start, you're going to enjoy it, okay? It's not going to be easy, Eight of Pentacles. Um, you're going to start something, reshaping it, experimenting it, looking into it, flipping the page for some of you. I don't know, maybe you're, you know, um, reading contracts and stuff like that. But um, there's a moment that you're going to reshape it, explore it. It's very fun and experimental, but also takes a lot of hard work to you whatever you're doing, whatever you're oath to do or aim to do, to explore what's in front of you or what the universe is giving to you is that it, it's fun, but it needs hard work and it needs a bit of maintenance. Yeah. It needs your strength, your stamina, your knowledge, your skills to be able to explore further and make it stable. Whatever you're doing, it's not yet stable. You're still looking for something. You're still exploring. You're still reshaping. Your goal is to put your energy and work hard to it. To make it solid. To make it... So you're buildable. You're building something, Leo. Yeah, Four of Pentacles. At, at some point in time, whatever you're doing, whatever you're focusing, it needs your strength, your knowledge, your passion, your energy. It's buildable. It means that from 8 to 4, don't rush. Okay? build half of it rest and then build the rest so um it's kind of your vibe is telling you there's no rush there's nothing to be afraid of whatever this is it's your oath to make a little bit of mistake tweak revise you know there's a room for error in here the room for error will give you more passion to kind of align yourself and okay let's try again let's try again let's try again okay whatever this is it's it looks fun it looks exciting it's the beginning part of it and this is a time where you could possibly have an error have an issue but i don't feel like ace of wands you will disconnect you know because the devil card is, is in here i feel like if you rush you'll make you'll make a mistake and you might encounter another of that same mistake if you're rushed but if you take it slow you know because that's it if you take it slow you know from ace to ten but slow seven of pentacles you'll do it perfectly like you are in the rhythm i don't know maybe you're building a business maybe you're starting all over again with a lover maybe dating but this is a slow burn a slow steady burn i feel like if this is a business you're gonna half of it will be completed take a rest take a break and then you know the second part completed it but i'm really feeling i feel like whatever this is that you're building you're doing or you're growing half half like 50 done and then the other part 
I feel like you're gonna change the dynamic. You're gonna change the rule. You're gonna reshape it differently. There's a part of it that it's experimenting, okay? Um, for some of you, you could be dating a different kind of person or you could be connecting and exploring a different kind of, not your usual type, but it looks like exotic. Like it, you've never tried this, but there's a willingness to look into it, you know, like half, half, you know, halfway from, it could be long distance, but there is, there's a feeling of completeness and satisfaction to whatever it is you're doing. It might be out of your comfort zone, Leo, but it's very comforting. It's very reassuring. Like, you're learning a lot. Although you have some mistakes in here, but you're learning. I don't think you will surrender with this, Leo. Whatever you started up, whatever you're doing, separated from that that thing, that person in here in the past, it's, it's going to be all about you. It's going to be connected to your future. Let us see, Leo, what is, um, let's, let's look at the person, the situation, um, the external energy connected towards you, Leo. Seven of Cups, the, the full card, the hangman. So, Leo, if you're dealing with a romantic situation, you've got a lot of choices. Like, if you really want to experiment or to kind of date again, you have a lot of choices. I'm seeing three. The younger one will be the best foot forward, will be the one who would best foot forward to you. I don't think this would happen overnight, but my next 24 hours uh, reading is that whatever intuitive message we could pick up could happen. Normally, my reading is three to six months. So you would date three. Uh, there's going to be there who will impress you, best foot forward always, younger. And then for some of you, you're kind of dealing with I don't know, business or travel, it will proceed. You will set up something long distance or business or maybe remote business kind. It will be very, very successful, okay? The thing is, you know what I told you at half, half, you know? When you have successfully set up a business, maybe a work, maybe some money stream in income completed half, try to kind of slow down and then regroup and try another project but doing one to another one to another one could be exhausting so try to kind of you know ground your energy once a successful project is completed if it's not love if it's love i feel like you're gonna go one by one at least three person you'll date in the, in the next three months the younger the younger one will really impress you best foot forward it's gonna be fun could be a foreigner they have different ways of kind of dressing up. I don't think you like the way they dress up, but it's not bad. But so be open-minded. Your reading is really interesting. Interestingly, a lot of the little bits of pieces and information in here that I'm getting. So this is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me here in the next 24 hours reading. I hope you like it. I have connected with me. If you do, click the bell and click subscribe. And I'll see you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.